If you're a black dude and you don't pay rent to me, we're evicting you and we're filming it. If you're a white dude and you don't pay rent to me, we're going to evict you and we're going to film it. If you're a yellow dude, blue dude, purple dude, we don't care. The only thing we care about is green, folks. You either pay your bills, pay the person who you signed the contract with, or don't. That's all it's about. Stop trying to inject this fake racism and everything, right? Like, dude, 10 years ago when I got into this business, if someone would have called us racist or lobbied an allegation of racism at us, it would be shocking. It would be mortifying. I feel like 10 years ago, being called a racist was like a scarlet letter. Like 10 years ago, being called a racist probably carried the same weight as being called a pedophile, right? The amount of shame and, 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 and terror and, and just, you know, pure mortification. You'd be just mortified if someone called you a racist 10 years ago. It'd be like someone accusing you of being a pedophile. Fast forward to 2023, you could put out a video where a white guy evicts a white woman and you get called a racist. You could put out a video where a black guy evicts a white woman gets called a racist. Like it doesn't matter who's racist or what, no matter what, they just see you evicting someone. So somehow that equates to racism because of the, the narrative that the media is pushing. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do. And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view. The pain is never gonna Racism, y'all. Everything, and I mean everything and anything, is considered racist these days, right? Hey, I'm a landlord. Ah, oh, you must be racist. That's what it feels like, right? I feel like... You just tell people you own rental property, and in 2023, the woke nation, the wokies out there, believe that you are a racist, folks. Why do I say this? Am I just pulling this out of my butt? No, right? We've produced thousands and thousands of videos. Many of those videos break down the real estate investment industry, show you guys what's really happening. Why? Why do we do this? Because I got sick and tired of the liberal media spewing garbage that does nothing but vilify landlords and glorify bad behavior by tenants who are doing terrible things. And when they do these terrible things to these landlords, you would think people would be like, hey, you just did something horrible. You just stole from that person. You just destroyed that person's property. We will call you out on it because this is the United States of America. We call criminals out for criminal behavior. But I would be wrong. That's not what the liberal media does. That's not what the fake news does. No. Instead, they somehow twist it around and make the landlord out to be a bad guy. Make the landlord out to be greedy. Make the landlord out to be racist, right? I got videos out there, folks, where we have uh, people at Holton Wise, the Holton Wise team, we have people of all races, right? We have people at Holton Wise who are white. We have people at Holton Wise who are black. Sometimes I have videos where I have black employees evicting white tenants, right? So we got black guys throwing out white people because the white people in those situations were not paying their rent, so they were pieces of garbage. So we're like, yo, we're evicting this piece of garbage. And then people are like, you guys are racist. You guys are racist. How are What? The tenant was white, the company was black, and then people are out there claiming that, you know, there's racism, right? All, all the woke nation is saying, oh, you're horrible to black people. Dude, the tenant wasn't even black, right? If you guys watch a lot of our eviction videos, we uh, don't often see the tenant. You don't see the tenant in every one of them. And then we get all these people that just automatically assume it must be racist, folks. Why would you assume that? Why would you assume just because somebody's getting evicted, that means they're black? No, that's not how it goes. A lot of the times, like sometimes, like for instance, the Cadillac Escalade video, right? We had that video, that video popped off, right? 1.3 million views in that video. And we have the Holton Wise team evicting that tenant. You actually see the tenant in that particular video and she's clearly a white woman and she's being evicted and there's literally thousands of comments you'll have to read the comments uh you know under the videos there thousands of comments calling us racist the tenant was literally white and she's literally in the video right you guys just spout off uh, from the hip without paying attention because that's what Woke Nation does, right? That's what the fake liberal news media is doing. They're keeping people 
fighting each other. They're creating this false narrative and always injecting racism into things that have absolutely nothing to do uh, with racism. When there is actually racism happening, that's bad. That sucks. That should not happen, folks. Who's down for racism? Not me. That's stupid. It's 2023. I don't care if you're black, white, blue, yellow, or purple, dude. Are you a good person? Are you going to pay your bills? If you're going to pay your bills, I want to rent to you. If you're not going to pay your bills, I'm going to evict the fuck out of you, and I'm going to film it, and I'm going to put it on Holton Wise TV. If you're a black dude and you don't pay rent to me, we're evicting you, and we're filming it. If you're a white dude and you don't pay rent to me, we're going to evict you, and we're going to film it. If you're a fucking yellow dude, blue dude, purple dude, we don't care. The only thing we care about is green, folks. You either pay your bills, pay the person who you signed the contract with, or don't. That's all it's about. Stop trying to inject this fake racism and everything, right? Like, dude, 10 years ago when I got into this business, if someone would have called us racist or lobbied an allegation and of racism at us, it would be shocking. It would be mortifying. I feel like 10 years ago, being called a racist was like a scarlet letter. Like 10 years ago, being called a racist probably carried the same weight as being called a pedophile, right? The amount of shame and, 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 and terror and, and just, you know, Pure mortification. You'd be just mortified if someone called you a racist 10 years ago. It'd be like someone accusing you of being a pedophile. Fast forward to 2023, you could put out a video where a white guy evicts a white woman and you get called a racist. You could put out a video where a black guy evicts a white woman gets called a racist. Like It doesn't matter whose races are what, no matter what, they just see you evicting someone. So somehow that equates to racism because of the, the narrative that the media is pushing. I mean, you got that poor gentleman, right, who was a black man, uh, Tyree Nichols. He was killed uh, by five black police officers. We have a black man who was unfortunately killed by five black police officers. Anybody looking at that situation is like, oh, this is not good. We got to do something to fix this. But then old CNN rolls in with our boy Van Jones, and somehow this motherfucker starts twisting things, and he's out there putting out content saying this has to do with institutional racism. Somehow a black guy getting beat up by other black men is somehow a racist action. That's why in 2023, folks, being labeled a racist, being called a racist, no longer carries weight. Ten years ago, yeah, it felt like you are being called a pedophile. Nowadays, the word has almost no meaning when you throw it out in situations where it has nothing to do with racism. Nowadays, I'm just like, wow, that person's been brainwashed by the woke media machine that just wants to keep people fighting amongst each other. They don't know what they're talking about because if they actually paid attention to the content I put out there, they will see that there is no racism or racial bias in any of this content. We are very specific with what we do here. We want people who pay their rent to the people who own their properties. The race of the person who owns the property, in our opinion, is irrelevant. The race of the person who rents the property from the person who owns the property is irrelevant. White, black, blue, white, black, blue, doesn't matter to us. We deal with all situations. We deal with situations with the property manager. Us is in the middle, and we have a black tenant with a white owner. Sometimes we have a black owner with a white tenant. Sometimes we have a Hispanic owner with a white tenant. Sometimes we have an Hispanic owner uh, with a Middle Eastern tenant and vice versa, right? All the combinations, folks, they all roll with the same rules. There's one set of rules for everybody, and that set of rules is identified in the lease agreement. If you uh, adhere to the lease agreement and you keep your end of the bargain, everything is hunky-dory, everything is great. If you don't, if one side doesn't hold up their end of the bargain, then the things that are illustrated in the lease agreement that should happen will happen. And in the case of not paying rent, that's going to lead to an eviction every single time, regardless of what color the tenant is, regardless of what color the owner is, regardless of what color the property management company employees are. The colors are completely irrelevant. The rules are the same for all of us. That's 
how things go. And it's just a damn shame that the liberal media tries to inject this fake racism, this woke outrage into every one of these situations to where it's gotten to the point where it's almost like people crying wolf. It's almost like the boy who cried wolf, right? Out there today, we hear the left, we hear CNN like lobbying fake racist allegations against so many people. I'm fearful that when real racism is actually taking place, when people are actually being discriminated against just for the color of their skin, folks, my biggest fear now is that people might not be paying attention to it. They might not notice it. It might get shoved under the rug because so many people are desensitized to it when the woke media is calling everything and anything racist. And that, that's the real problem. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.